Let me guide you step by step on how to use Leonardo AI to craft fantastic images. Then, explore the most efficient methods for selling your creations. So, let's start. Open Leonardo AI and log in with your Google account. I opted for Leonardo AI because it's free and offers 150 tokens every day. The best part? You get full commercial rights for the images you generate. Once you are logged in, you will first encounter links to user tools like Image Generation, Live Canvas, and Canvas Editor. Additionally, there's an upcoming feature called Motion that will let you create generative videos. We will take a closer look at each of these features shortly. Just beneath that, you will come across recent creations showcasing models crafted by fellow users. Simply select a model and a pop-up window will display details like prompt used, negative prompt, the model used, and the seed number for recreating that particular image style. Right under that, you will discover a collection of examples crafted using that particular model. To create images, you can press the Generate with this model button, but I will show you an alternative method later on. You can also exclusively access these models from the community feed section where you can view by trending, new, or top models. Similarly, the personal feed stores the images you have already created. Under training and dataset you can train your own custom models. If this interests you then check out this video to know how exactly it's done. I will also leave a link in the description. Next, under fine-tuned models, you can access all the above categories under their respective tabs. Now, the AI image generation section is where you will be crafting your images. At the top, you will find a text field to input your prompt. Right below that, you can select a model. If you are interested in exploring other models, click on Select Other Model and choose from the options we discussed earlier in the video. Initially, you will need to experiment with the models to determine which one produces the image style you desire, whether it's for digital prints, storybooks, or a masterpiece. Once you have picked your model, click on it and you can begin using it by selecting Generate with this model. Additionally, use a negative prompt to specify elements you don't want in your image. This is specially helpful for refining images by addressing deformities or unwanted features. Next, there is Add Elements, or LoRa, which stands for Low Rank Adaptation. It gives you precise and intricate control over the style and visual outcome of generated images. You can achieve this by simply adding any of these dynamic modifiers, or LoRa elements according to the style you want. As you scroll down, the Generation History tab will display all the images you generated. Next, Image Guidance contains the Image to Image option. This feature enables you to upload an image of your choice to serve as a reference for generating your desired work of art. And then, Prompt Generation gives you the capability to expand on simple prompt ideas and develop more intricate concepts. For example, if you input Futuristic Landscape and then click on ID8, the tool will generate a variety of more complex concepts that incorporate your initial prompt. Now, let's give the first idea a try, and here is the result. Feel free to come up with new ideas or adjust the prompt to craft your masterpiece. On the left, you can pick the number of images you want from one prompt. I recommend four for a good variety. Enable Photo Reel for hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits, but remember it needs alchemy to be turned on. Similarly, alchemy follows the same principle. Once activated, it enhances image quality by boosting contrast and adding finer details. It's a premium feature, and you can try it out up to five times. Just below, you will come across Prompt Magic. Essentially, this feature boosts the influence of your prompts. You can enable high contrast and adjust prompt strength. Next, you can change the dimension of your images. Leonardo recommends going with 1024 by 1024 pixels. Moreover, under Advanced Controls, you have the flexibility to choose an aspect ratio, like 916 for Instagram and YouTube Shorts, or even adjust it manually. Then the Guidance Scale lets you finally adjust how closely the generated image aligns with your prompt. A lower value on the slider indicates less resemblance to your original prompt. I recommend selecting a value around 7 or 8. Now let's see a fun feature. 
Write your idea in the prompt box, then click on this rolling dice button and select improve prompt. And it will create a detailed prompt based on the words you entered. This incredible feature is designed for everyone, whether you are just starting out or an experienced pro. It allows you to create one of a kind masterpiece that may surprise even your own imagination. Now, let's return using the arrow button, bringing us to the user tools section. We were previously in AI image generation, so now, click on Live Canvas. In this section, choose a color with the color picker, then click on the brush icon and adjust the brush width as per your needs. Now as you draw, the system will provide a suggested image based on your drawings. You can also enter a prompt to define your image. This interesting topic demands a separate video with examples, so here I will not go into more details. Next is the canvas editor, here you can enhance an existing image. For instance, let's take the image we generated previously and work on enlarging it. The main idea involves placing a box with half of it extending beyond the image boundaries and the other half inside. This is crucial to provide a reference point for Leonardo to understand your intentions. Just below this, describe the element you want to add. On the right, I have set the number of images to be generated as four. You will get four options, pick the one that aligns best with your creative vision and then address the remaining corners of the image. You also have the option to add text and sketch directly on the canvas, then click here to download your artwork. The canvas editor is an incredibly valuable feature when used creatively. Now, let's explore the best methods to monetize your AI art. The first approach involves creating digital prints and selling them on platforms such as Etsy, Saatchi Art, Redbubble, or Shopify. To get started, you can sign up for a free account on any of these websites, upload your images in PNG format, and earn money for each sale. I will provide links to all these websites in the description below for your convenience. Another avenue to generate income from your AI art is through print-on-demand. This involves having your images printed on items such as t-shirts, bags, and other accessories. To get started, simply join an online store like Redbubble where you can print your images on accessories and sell them to customers. To wrap it up, I will be signing up on the above websites and offer artworks for sale. The goal is to document my experience over time and create a review video sharing the results I achieve on each platform. Thank you for staying until the end. If you found this video informative, then hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and maybe even subscribe.